let me show you how i connected this image which i uploaded to facebook and instagram recently and if you want the real file to this image so you can practice along i'll be leaving the link to the real file in the description below so you can click on the link and download this real file and practice along so let's jump straight into photoshop right now so this was the before and this is the finished product of the color grading so let me just delete it and show you how i color graded this image the first thing i did i come to my adjustment layer and i wanted that warm look that warm feel and that faded look for this image right here so i just come to my um color lookup table i use the photoshop inbuilt color lookup table so i just come to low 3d lot and um i just played with the 3d lot and i saw this one right here this candlelight cube and i feel the faded look was really okay and it was really nice but i feel it was too much so i just reduced the opacity so this is my opacity right here i just brought down the opacity to about 20 something let's see i think i brought it all the way down to 29 or 26 i think 27 so this is the before and after you can see we've already gotten that faded look which i was initially going for and another thing I did, I wanted to add some kind of vibrance to the image and the metals and the highlight as well. So I just come to my adjustment layer again and I come to my color balance. And for my color balance, since I want to work on the highlights and just the metals. So for my metals, I just added a little bit of reds to the metals like this. I think plus four. I think I added plus plus four or five. I really don't know. But I'm going to get close to the one which I did before. And for my yellows, I just added a little bit of yellows like this to the metals as well. And on that thing I did, I come to my highlights. I just added a little bit of reds to the highlights. And a little bit of blues to the highlight as well to compensate for the um, one which I added to the metals. So you can see our before and after. So if I just group them and you can see the before and after, this is the before and this is the after. Now the next thing I did, I just, create, I just created a stamp visible layer by clicking on Ctrl Shift at an edit. And I converted this um, layer right here to a smart filter. After converting it to smart filter, I just open it in camera. Roll. So this is my camera roll filter right here. I just open it in camera roll filter. And then the first thing I did when I was in camera, roll, I just come to my effects and just bring down your vignettes a little, a little bit like this to add vignettes to the image. So 20 minus 20. And I come to my color mixer and I just come to my hue. I just push the hue of the oranges inside to towards the yellow side like this and the hue of the um, greens towards this yellow side as well to add a warm feel to the greens on the image. And another thing I did, I come to my luminosity, just added a little brightness to the uh, metals, which is the orange, and just push the metals brightness towards the orange side. I used to add that brightness to the metals. And I did a little bit of it to the reds and also to the yellows as well to add a brightness to the image. So this was before our camera and this is after our camera uh, before and after so that's all i did to color grade this image in photoshop so let me just show you before and after what we started from and where we are right now this was the before and this is the after this was the before and this is the after so that's how i color graded this image in photoshop you can see how easy it is to color grade the image it just depends on the look you are going for and for me this was the look i was going for and it was really really nice for this image so that's how i color graded this image in photoshop if this video was helpful to you make sure to give this video a like so more people can see this video and then from this video as well and if you want to learn how to retouch bt headshot make sure to click on this video showing you your screen right now i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative